Remember you playing with over there? Mm-hmm. Nice and smooth. Problem solved. But it works now? It works. How'd that happen? Magic. It didn't work before. What happened? <laughs> Magic. Did we leave it loose? Yeah. Just loosen up so it'd fall out later? Mm. Is that how we did it? Just back it out. So, anyway, now it uh, looks like it's supposed to be. Nice and free. Okay. So we lubed up our seal because we got a seal in here now. I don't know if the picture or not, I can't see. All right, so uh, let's see. We could get the starter motor figured out now, so let's get this thing up on the bike again. This time, put it on correctly so I don't keep taking on and off, on and off, on and off. Where's our uh, stator at? Rotor. Probably should get that on there and make sure it fits before we do the final assembly. Be nice to know this stuff before we uh, do it. So we're using a, what are you filming over there? Over here. So we're using a heavy duty stator, <coughs> rotor, excuse me. So it has a built in, welded in, thick plate in there instead of just a thin ass 316 stick material. This is a 5A stick here, solid piece, so it stays put. <clears throat> so that fits up right up against the space on the crank, no, uh, no secondary washers. You're not cleaning the mess up, are you? Don't get your finger stuck in there, it would hurt. Ooh. I was trying to get me, wasn't it? Okay, put that up on there and see what we got. I heard a rumor at this time it might go on. <laughs> you know I don't believe that. No. There's a little ratchet out. Let's see it. Little ratchet? Yeah, you got over there somewhere? Yeah, right here. Okay. Put the bolts in there and pull it in. Okay, where's the chrome piece of crap you want to use? Okay, do a little work over here. So I got my pressing tool over here right now. All right, yep. put that back up in here. So what we got here is we have a piece of tubing here that's about the right size I can get, so I can beat against it. Then somehow I gotta hold this without hitting on the bottom of this. So we pick, take another piece of tubing out here, stick it between, and now we got a little tool here. <clears throat> so now we can hit on this, it doesn't hit on the bottom, but we're supported so we can bang this against the radius. Now it's gonna be hard to hit this like this, so what we do is we take this piece of aluminum here, and we lay it on top of here, and we just bang it and rotate this around, and it'll make a circle out of it, and that'll flatten that back out. 
and the aluminum won't bore up the surface too much because he's going to get picky as soon as he sees anything damaged. <laughs> Most of that out so now it's mainly round again so now these are sticking up a little bit on the flat so we just put them on the side over here we'll use the aluminum again hold it right there and we just hit it with a hammer flatten these right out Okay. All right, so now we see how it works. So the holes are still off by half a hole. Up closer, actually about three quarters of a hole if you push down on it. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to take the <coughs> cover, I'm just going to beat it down with a hammer right here and try to beat these down a little bit, except we can't do that because we're on that piece right there. Okay, so we can't beat on that. So we bring out our tool again, right here. Hold on there. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and beat this here down a little bit. Okay, I need some help while we're going to get done. Okay, hold this here so it doesn't move. And on top, I'm going to put on that, it's going to want to lift up on your side. Rotate it up. See if that helped any. A little bit. Okay, we your two quarter inch bolts. Ah, here's one. Too short. That might actually work. Mm -hmm. Got another one. <clears throat> For longer. Okay, so that goes in there. Now you see the problem you can have with a hex head. Woo! Good catch. Get a click around here. Some pretty. Looks you got some pretty. Don't outside. hold on to the outside cover; it drops. So there's no room for a hex in here, so we have to do is go to Allen's, which I can't stand, but that's what we're gonna have to use. Uh, they're gonna be about an inch or inch and a quarter long Allen's. And we're going to need um, probably a lock washer also. You know I just love them lock washers. All right, so that might work that way. We'll see. So, that's why you keep scrap metal laying around. You never know when you need this stuff for using for things. Did you say inch? At least an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. That's an inch. It don't look like an inch. Maybe. Sure, that's an inch. Give me an inch and a quarter. We'll find out in a minute. It's dark over here. It's dark. Well, just give me. Bring the whole tray over here. I need a couple lock washers too. He's over there playing in the dark over there. There you go. I got a whole workbench right here for you. There. Here's you some. Okay, I'll break my leg. There you go. Okay, what did you bring me? Uh, 
uh, inch. It says those are an inch. They look a little short. Inch and a quarter. I mean, they might work. We'll try it. Grab one of each. Get a little handy Danny Allen to get in there with. Get our special quad seal o ring. What are you doing over there? Why don't you get a quarter inch instead? It'll be the one toward the back, not the front. Oh, hey, some dumbass dropped the hardware. I wonder who that was. All right, put this over here. Okay, now this is a soft, cushy, kind of like, it's not sponge rubber, but it's, it's real cushy like that. But it is all rubber. So it's quad seal instead of an O-ring, so it has four seedling surfaces. So that has to go inside of this rubber. Not on top of it, but it has to go inside of it. It has to go like that. Okay. What do you got there? Those are the right ones? Where's that block you don't like? See, mm. he's got this nice chrome block here. Okay, so there's how much threads we're going to have into it. See, with an inch and a quarter, you got that many threads? Yeah. How deep did that hole go? I, don't think I think it, it went through. It doesn't go through. No? No, they don't go through. They I shouldn't go through. pretty far. Okay, we're going to find out if that's too far. You got an Allen? Yeah. Yeah. Came prepared. Okay, this is a one inch here. There's a hole. There Found up one. Oh, it's that stupid cover. Oh, it's hitting right here. Yep. I didn't scratch that, did I? Oh, I hope I didn't. What? What? Did you do what? I can't see that expression over there. Oh. That wasn't a scratch. I don't know if they heard that. If, I don't know if they heard that on the. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that yeah, grind mark that I shoved it in there. I would never do something like that. No. Good, good view of my elbow. Look at the elbow view. Go like that. In my armpit. Rags in my way. Oh, that's hard to turn. I need a real wrench. This is not the right tool. Okay, I need a, I need a real tool. Can I use a zip gun on that? Hmm. How come it yeah, it pulls it in like that? How come it pulls it in? Look at it, it looks like it's well, now you're picking on my damn how your custom-fitting parts don't pull fit. It, pull in a, it pulls in at an angle. Well, it's hard to believe that would happen. Okay, that screws bottom down. That 
was the inch and a quarter, right? On yes. the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can pull it all the way in. You get all this rubber over here sticking everything way out. Okay, grab me an inch and a quarter of top screw. Like it's pulled tight. Mm -hmm. The lock wash has collapsed all the way. All the way. <clears throat> okay, it's sucked up in like long ass screws. So it's all in there, all the way in. <clears throat> so, there you go. Usually I leave the lock washer out so I can tell if it's pulled all the way in or not. So it looks like they're all the way in tight. You never really know though until you take the lock washer out and see if they're going the rest of the way without it. That bottom one, I'm not sure about. Let me see. I can see if you move your move it. Yeah, it's flattened. Lock wash is flattened all the way down. Yep. Okay. They pulled the solenoid back in, so it's pretty flat. All right. This still works. See, I don't even have the spring in here, I see it's spring loaded anyway. So. Hmm. The solenoid itself plungers the spring loaded. Gotcha. So, the big long spring keeps pushing this all the way this way when it's unassembled in there correctly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Make sure it looks like it's way down where it belongs, but where's the uh, shaft? Right here. sits low and they do sit low so that goes right in there all right well it's in there so I have to take it back apart to put the spring in there and lubricate it but it, it did go in and I don't like using these big ass nuts I got here I like using regular American nuts. These stupid, what are these, 5 ace diameter hex or some stupid thing? Huge. Okay, so what other issues we got? So we should have no problem with linkage. We're good there, but the cover's going to stick out that far, so it's going to get close. What do you got for a shifter linkage? Do we even know? Mm -mm. Where's that boot cover thing you got? Uh, yeah, the chrome cover is in a package. Right there. That one. Oh, man, I know where my knife is. It's in my pocket. Don't scratch that chrome now. Yeah, you don't scratch it. I come down and hit. What's it hitting on? I don't know. 
Too Not much. hitting on the studs. There's something there. Nah. Not letting it go through. Goes a hit on. Is it something this? Is there something inside right there? It's tight right here. It'll push over it, but it's digging in. It must be the screw. What kind of an Allen is that? Small one. Did it come with the Allen? No. no. I think that's American or metric. It's got blue Loctite on it already. Yeah, it's leaving a mark right there. All right. Well, either way, it's going to get uh, it's going to get pretty close to our linkage over here, depending on what we got. Because you're going to have a hex head bolt in here, or something, or a button head, something to hold that thing in there. So we're going to be really, really close. We're going to have to bend that lever on the shifter over. Ooh, what? So we got to figure that out before we put this primary on there for real. Why can't we just run it before we mount it? Run a bolt this way, you know, something flat, and run it that way, you know. I don't know what you have for an end. Do you have a Heim? You got a Clevis? You got some kind of weird, stupid throttle linkage piece on there? Where's them fancy controllers you got? I don't know. I'm not in charge of the controls. I'm in charge of making a bike run. That damn cosmetic foot control stuff's all on you. Okay, where's that fancy starter motor? Oh, we haven't finished the starter motor yet. We, no. we got to work on the starter motor. You want to go do that right now? No, I want the foot control linkage. Plastic bottle. Other bottle. Ooh, fancy crap over there. Somebody bent this. They got hit hard. Look at that. Uh, let's see here. Maybe it didn't come with it. There you go. It didn't come with it. But it resembles this. Well, this isn't going to work, so what else do you got? Uh, is that for the brake? This is for a four speed. We don't have a four speed anymore. It's got a long rod right there. Is that the brake? That'd be the brake. Yeah. Spot. Okay. Well, maybe. No, a brake wouldn't have that on there. Why the hell would you have that on the brake? That's a shifter. Goes from here to here. Okay, where's the other uh, clevis behind or something going? Okay, a bucket of crap. Those things right there. Let's see, it's gonna take bolts or something to hold them down. Those are ugly. Slip that sucker open. I know, but it's, you own it, so. I've got my special table covering up. That's hard to come by. You can't just buy this stuff anywhere. <laughs> I don't remember where I got it from. Is there markings on it? Yeah. Oh, look at that nice Zerk fitting. You got a Zerk gun? Nice. You got a Zerk gun to lubricate that? Oh, one? my Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a good one. I'm foreseeing that. We got issues already. We haven't even started yet. I'm thinking there's going to be some clearance things over here. See the, see the clearance issues? Mm -hmm. We didn't get a bolt head on here yet. So anything more than that is going to rub. And you can't put that on the inside there very well. Because the cable has to come through here and it's right up against the cylinder. So, what I would do is I would bend the lever, get it out of the way. Or you're going to have to put an S bend in this, like you got over here on this one. Like this the piece here is. Mm -hmm. Except this is not the piece you're supposed to be using on this, but you might be able to. See, that's going to be threaded hole, not a clevis. So, yeah, you can't just put, you can put it on there, but it wouldn't be very good. It's made to have a damn adjuster on it. 
What you got for a bolt? Is a hex head or you got a button head? What do you got in here? Oh, it's got some acorns in it. Your favorite. What's that? Your condom? Tiny little zip to nice. zip toys. Thought they're preparing you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's that. That'll be nice. We could put that on there. Look at that. Well, that would take up almost no space at all. Look at that. You know, if we took this off, we could probably put this on. Which one do you want, this or the solenoid? I think we kind of need, well, I guess I could always just kick it. Yeah, you can kick it. What else do we got in the pile here? That's about it. No button heads, right? Just hex. Not even shouldered hexes either. They're just crap. You'd think they give you real bolts in here or something. Junk. Oh, this one's quarter inch too. Look how small that thing is. That's for the brake. This is the one. So they only give you one hind. Mm -hmm. When they got the one hind joint, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're cheap. So the only that's supposed to go on one of the two ends. And you know, it's supposed to be on this end over here because this is supposed to have the hind up here. All right, I foresee we're going to have some issues here we're going to deal with. Could be in my hand. Maybe we'll upgrade a little bit. And this appears to be the 516s on both sides. Yep. Oh, there's instructions. Oh, shit. How close was I? Okay, well, we don't have this. Uh, we don't have this. And this is a brake. Okay, good. Fits our bike. So this is the closest thing we got to this. Uh, but we don't have that pin. What's 14? FX type. FL type. Where's the other one at? Okay, we got three. Which one's FL? Which one's FX? And which one goes forward? Where's the left side? They don't show the left side? That's the only instruction you got? That's it. Oh, here it is right here. There it is. I recognize that one. See that one? Mm-hmm. So this goes in the front. Do they tell you how you're going to make this go to that? Where's the master cylinder on this bike? Yeah, it's a short one. Yeah, see, here's that long rod right there. See? Yeah. I see Don, they're showing a different one here. See, that's a little hind joint. Yeah. But there's nothing on the back. So What's 30? Sh shorten your hind joints. What's 30? So this is supposed to go on this one over here. Retracting ring. Here's the clevis pin for that. So here's the setup they want you to use. This one here, and this goes up in the front. Okay, that's the setup they want you to use. We're not using that. It don't work. So we have to use this one here, which we only have one of these. I don't know how they think that, and that's the same size. Not even close. Is this threaded small on one side? Didn't look like it. Here, pull it out of the bag. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this doesn't fit. Takes the 5 sixteenths on both sides. This is a quarter inch. So that does not fit that. I'm guessing this is for the brake, is what I think it's for. So got your number three. It's for mm. the brake. Which six? Three and six. Master cylinder plunger. Plunger hind joint. So where's the mess on the plunger at? I don't see that piece. It must be in the pile down there somewhere. It's gonna be hollow on the one side. It's gonna be like a big nut. Could be a plunger. Oh, yep, it fits right here. Here it is. So these two here go together. See, so they're all both dinky. Mm -hmm. So this is a setup for the brake. So we only have one. Time joint. Takes two for we're gonna do. So they cheated you. 
But either way, it's not going to work unless we bend this lever over. Now, luckily, it doesn't really move that far, and it's, it's pretty flat, so we can actually bend that thing over in three quarters of an inch over, which will give us plenty of room over here. And the rod will just be laid over like that, which won't hurt a damn thing. And I want to, so somewhere, we just have to clear down there, that bolt way down in there, adjuster. So we can't bend it right at the very bottom. We have to come up higher than what that adjuster would be. So we have to come at least halfway up this lever before we bend it. You understand? Yeah. So this has to come off so we can bend it. Why just hit up with a big hammer right here and bend the transmission and screw up the shaft down there? Then want me to do that? No. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and we have to get the control up here mocked up so we can see kind of where that's going to sit. Because we have to put a clutch cable through here. Remember, the clutch goes through here. This piece here is supposed to be right there, see? So we have a clutch cable and a shifter. And see, they can't be in the same spot. So, so we can move that over a good half an inch at least. No problem. Try to go three quarters of an inch without hitting anything. Anything more than that, we're going to get too far to the inside or too or we'll be too close. So basically, we only need about a half inch of movement because the bolt's three eighths of an inch. The heim does clear, but it'll be close. We need some clearance, so we need to move over just a little bit. You say you can't, you can't come over too much. Yeah, so I think we're okay on that. This doesn't go in there. There you go. See how it fits better now? All right. Have to go find some uh, better components to use. I don't know why you don't have precision made parts that fit better. Do, 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 do. So we need something like these parts here. These are custom parts. Here. Do I have what? all kinds of crap over here. It's a bunch of stainless rods, different lengths. Then I also got some kits over here too. Ew, I don't like these ones. I got this. Yeah, see, that's, that's way better. That's way more better. I can also do the female instead of the male. Hmm. I still got to bend it over a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we can put it on the inside, right? On the outside. Yeah. Now, the other way of going is I can give you heim joints and use that rod you already got. The tube. Yeah. See, this is male. So you got a male bar. The other one's a tube, it's a female. So this one here, instead of looking at looking at instead of having a, a, a nut on the outside edge, you know it's a it's a female heim. Yeah. You use a male heim. So I you see. See, yeah. all, see all, you know, it looks different. Hmm. So you can go either way. Now, I think I got chrome heim joints over here that are male. I used to anyway. The male rod or the female rod? The male rod. See, I like the female version. Yeah, I like your way. I'll take it. It's not my way. I like the other way better. That's behind that buried over in here somewhere. There it is. I found it. Okay, here's the male heim. Those are supposed to be chrome, how they look. Uh, I like this way. You want this one instead of the tube? Yeah. Okay. So we need another female pine joint. Or you can run this piece of crap that breaks. <clears throat> uh, well, so we need... No, that's a male. Well, they make them both ways. Okay, yeah. These are all right, but they fail after a while. They're not very heavy duty. These are not made for shift linkage, they're made for like throttle linkages. 
They're not made for pounding out with your foot all the time. These will take the pounding, those other ones don't. So if you want to go with a rod like this, then we have to order up a, a female climb joint, which I might have in my pile over there, but I didn't see it. Here, pull it off. <clears throat> so that'll go over here. The length looks like it might be okay on the length, because usually it's right where the cylinder is. I think that might fit, teacher. So usually the linkage comes about where the base of the cylinder is right here, the drain back, and we're about in the same spot. <clears throat> what should you do with that cover? It's not going to clear. We have to bend a little bit. It's close. There's no reason to be that close. And when you put the boot on there and the written cover, it's going to be really close. So we'll just bend it over a little bit. we got to make room for the bolt. So we'll just make it work. There's no reason to fight it. Just bend the thing out of the way. We have plenty of room. And we have to get this up on here see if we're going to clear this acorn or not. We might not clear this acorn. We might have to put a, a stubbier one on there. You know, things kind of, you know, you got to make everything clear. Okay, so I got to order up another female hind. But you like that style? Yeah. Okay. We can do that. We can find more parts. Okay, give me my hind bike. Can't have my hind. It's too valuable. So I have to do another order for you. Damn, he keeps finding stuff I don't have in stock. Well, we don't know if we don't have any stock. Here's a 3 8 version. These are all a little buried back here. You can even see them. Yeah, see, I use all males. That's why I got male stuff here. Here's a female. <sighs> you want gold ones? I got gold. No. No? You're stuck on that chrome thing? Okay, he's stuck on chrome. Gotta have a chrome thing. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, geez. Damn it. I got a used one. I got a used one that looks like crap. And I got a new one that looks good. Which one do you want? Uh, let's throw one crappy and one good one on there. That's what I thought you were gonna go for. There you go. Here. You like that one better? Oh, yeah. And I don't have to order it. I just have it on the shelf. That's real pretty. See, that's why you got to stock the stuff so when you need it, you need it. Look at that. Well, you're taking off that nice piece. You know, somebody's going to want that piece. How much well, that's get what I'm going to trade you. We'll put that on chopper swapper. Yeah. Chopper swapper? We'll just straight across. Bobbers are anonymous or something like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Bobbers. What can we get for that? Oh, <laughs> Look at that. Is it, even, is it the same thread? Yeah. It goes on? Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's kind that. of fun. It's meant to be. Look at that. Is it left and right, so you just turn the middle? No. <laughs> Beautiful. It ain't that happy. Is that got a zerk in it? Nope. No, no ugly zerk. No Good. ugly zerk. All right. There you go. That is. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Uh-huh. Now you want to put a button head on there that you can never tighten, or you want to put a hex on there where you can actually tighten it up? Uh, yeah, do the hex. Hex? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You like how I identified the differences there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your choice. Your, your choice. One you can work on the bike and one you can't. <laughs> okay, we'll be back a little bit. we got to get the starter.